Good evening. This is Quincy representing Team Let's See FX Group. Shout out to the Wolves of Wall Street. Doing what we got to do in these markets for 2022 going forward and beyond. Hopefully everybody's having a blessed 2022 to begin. We're going to get rolling. We're going to look at some indices, looking at some specific cryptos. And hopefully you guys learned a little bit of something when Tyler went over some Forex crosses as well as a few other cryptos. We're about to make it happen, y'all. But until then, just know you got to be you while you're being the trader. If you don't know who you are, it's not happening. All right. Now let's get back to these markets. If we take a look here, I'm on a weekly on Dow Jones. Very bearish. Very, very bearish. And as you see, I still have a short end right now. And so far, I haven't seen any reason to get out of it just yet. Now, if anything happens along the way for the next few days, so be it. But for right now, it's very bearish. I have my alleys ready to go, ready for any type of distribution or redistribution. We're going to make this happen. Now, if we take a look at these wicks on this weekly right here, we've been flirting with continuing this bullish trend. But as we see, the order flow has become a lot more lateral throughout 2021. We've been flirting with a, a bearish correction. Okay. Now, I say we've been flirting with a bearish correction. We've been still rising. And if anybody remembers our slope days, you know, rise over run, you know, Y equals MX plus B. <laughs> we're, we're just getting a little bit flatter here. It's a little bit longer. Okay. We're rising a lot rapidly compared to what, you know, a typical order flow would be. Because as we look here, when COVID happened, we've been attempting this recovery. And it's been swift. A few setups, but it's been swift. Now, as we take a look here with these wicks in this bullish alley right here, even though we've become more lateral, we still have been rising. So anybody that they've been buying, they've been valid. They've been winning. But there's been some folks that have been winning with their shorts as well, as we see. So it's really just a matter of how you play it and what is your perspective. But we have to worry about not only just traditional earnings reports, like what we look at when we're looking at here. Okay. Just looking specifically here. Yeah, we can look at earnings reports as well. But if we're looking at indices, we're looking at how this is affecting everybody. To put it frankly, we have some fundamentals at play, not just the numbers. Okay. And let alone interest rates that have to be tapered within the next few months. So the deal is we have many factors at hand when we are being as precise as possible with protecting ourselves while maximizing our profit. So as I look at this daily, let's look at this cascading action. Keep it trade talk friendly. Look at this broadening action. See how I have this set up right here. We got one, two, a potential three tap here. If this continues to fall, then most likely we'll get a little bit of something coming back up here for a fourth and maybe a fifth motion that way. But as you see, we're set up for a nice continuing short with a bullish rebound coming up here, continuing to be more lateral, building liquidity before the major correction happens. We got our alley set up like this because of where the activity is. Okay. With a setup like this, one could have thought that we were going on for another bullish ride, according to a lot of the previous months. 
But because we failed to blow past this level and we had to breathe a bit, tried to flirt again, lost the juice. So when we kick back to this weekly, it's clear there's a reason why it's become so lateral. Bulls, Bears, they're all winning right now. The overall line, or I should say the overall angle of demand is still clearly bullish, but it's just a lot slower than what was proposed during 2021. And as we are in 2022, I expect more lateral movement till we eventually have no choice but to play down here. And it's going to be a ride. Yes, I said it. We will be down here at some point. There is no way with how this motion is going, we are going to blow all the way past up here, clear of 37K and settle a nice demand zone up here. It's not happening with how everything is moving. When you look at what's happening in the world, mix it with the technicals at play, we're going to get a correction at some point. The question is, how fast will it happen? You know, how abrupt is the sudden change going to happen? And for how long? Most pundits in the medical world will claim that we are nearing the peak of Omicron and it should be happening within the next two to three months. Then there are different financials that claim that we are in a state of inflation that is lying to itself. There's a lot of truth to that as well. So the way that we are seeing it, we're just going to keep observing the price action, keep observing what's happening in the world so that we can protect ourselves as we go forward. Because as we compare it to other indices, we should start to see a clear picture. Doesn't this look familiar? Okay. It's a weekly view with the NASDAQ. Doesn't this look familiar? We can weekly view of S&P 500. Again, doesn't this look familiar? Weekly view of DAX 40. Previously the 30. But if anybody was paying attention to us, we knew it was going to become a DAX 40. So if you were with Team Let's Eat for the long run, you already knew what was up. Okay. Now for transparency, let's look back to my four hour here. As we see, I was about to take this personal trade. Then I realized that I was too early. It got out at break even. And ended up challenging a different alley and it looks like if I drag this we potentially have a top yes I repeat we might have a top here it is very possible okay DAX has been doing very well the last 18 months in recovery it's poised to do some great things but the market always has to breathe. And currently, how this looks could be somewhat of a preview of what happens in the other indices. So if we just take a surfacial look across everything, all of these indices look scarily, scarily similar. The Bears are about to win out this year. They're about to win. Bears are, they're about to win. And it's okay. I told my crew, we're, we're getting ready to be some big bad bears because that's what the price action is showing us.
That's what the data is showing us. Yes, we can take a look at this and there's a potential for a nice, you know, bullish impulse, but look what happened the last few weeks. Dow was set up for a beautiful explosion heading into New Year's. We were ready for something vicious, some nasty candle bars that happened, you know, for the last election for America in 2020. You know, we're looking for something, you know, dastardly, right? But it didn't happen. We ran out of juice at New Year's and a lot of folks cashed out and took their profits went on vacation while everybody scurried around trying to figure out what's going on. So when I see all of this, this cascading, broadening, bearish action right here, oh yeah, we're getting set up for some folks to cash out. The sellers are about to win. That's some equity protection right there, just waiting for the nice top and just letting it ride instead of fighting the wave as the world crashes down on you as you're trying to catch the falling knife for every buy. Now you can catch the falling knife for every buy, but the deal is you got to make sure that you catch it around that wick correctly. Whether you're looking at the daily or the weekly, you got to make sure you're playing by your rules. Okay. I can't give out too much sauce here because you guys got to get into VIP to really see what we do when we get in here. Cause when you look at our pip count, You'll understand why we try to be so precise out here. Okay. There's a lot of volatility out there. Case in point, let's look at crypto. All right. Let's look at this zoomed in point. All right. Because I was looking to get ready for a leveraged buy for ADA. Oddly enough, still valid. I technically got in at about a dollar twenty-two, came all the way down here, and now we're sitting roughly between a dollar and five cents, dollar and ten cents. The reason why I was looking for it is because let's look at the weekly here. Now take a look here. If we had some strong support kick in at a dollar twenty, and we could ride this wave right here, would have been some nice ROI right there. Would have been beautiful. But as we see here. Very lateral, right? The motion overall is still bullish. But the alley that we're playing in now, we're absorbing a lot of liquidity here. We could probably get even lower. We'll probably be around here. So this is obviously swing territory where I'm at right here. And judging by what's happening here, we should be able to sweep in here by the end of 2022. I should be able to scale this out. And start thinking like I'm Solana out here. Okay. Now reality, this is what I see. The types of gains I see happening for ADA is limitless. Okay. We can get on any type of chart and look at any type of equity and we can see mathematically what the potential is for anything. Right. But knowing what I know about this asset, especially since it's more network based than most of the other cryptos out there, uh, I understand that I need to have foresight with what it can do, not just for what monetarily it can do. Do some research on your coins. Understand what they are. 
understand why I have this idea that it's going to get up here, not only due to the price action that I see, but as long as I can wade these waters in here, good things should happen. The lower it gets here, the more I'm most likely going to double down on this because I know what it is. And if anything, I can just extend my stop loss a bit because I'm thinking like it's a long-term investment. I'm not thinking like this is a trade where I'm getting in and out. I mean, I could be as precise as I want to be and get into the crypto flips, so to speak. But for something like this, I want to stay in for the long run to see what it does. Okay. Now I have my reasons for this. And we'll go over this in the future. But for now, you got to see what goes on in these VIP chats with TLE to see what we're talking about. Because we're getting ready for some moves, but you got to know what's going on. Okay. And to do this, well, you got to take a chance to see what we're about pretty soon. We're, we're going to get into some different ways that TLE can help you and how you can help TLE. Because at the end of the day, we all eat together. It's called Team Let's Eat for a reason. We want to make sure folks can eat. What have you done for the seven generations ahead of you based upon the seven generations before you? You know what I'm saying? It's about what can you do? All right. And in this case, for us, what we can do is leverage our knowledge of these charts and maximize our creativity and do what we got to do. And just to keep it short and sweet, just where this is at right now, best believe. As soon as it gets anywhere down here, we're getting for some retracement buys, and we're gonna short to we we can't short anymore. All right, <clears throat> equity growth, access to funded accounts, freedom via crypto. Doing what we got to do to make ourselves better and better the world around us. It's a pale blue dot that we're on in the middle of this galaxy. Or I should say the outside part of this galaxy. We're in the boondocks. <laughs> so you know what? Let's just use what we know. Do the best we can with what's around us. And make the most out of our existence. <laughs> these charts aren't everything. But you do what you got to do with these charts. You can enjoy everything and anything that's around you and that's within you. I wish I learned that a long time ago, but now I'm here. Got a team I'm blessed with. Hopefully they feel blessed with me and we share our blessings together onward and outward to anywhere we need to be. Hopefully you join the ride with us. Until then, this is Quincy representing Team Let's Eat. Shout out to the TLE family, Bulls of Wall Street the money movement. We're doing some great things out here. But if you really want to see what's going on, you got to check out the Telegram. Got to check us out on Instagram. Got to check us out on Facebook. Check out our YouTube. It's coming. Slowly but surely. One love.